welcome to the Charity Hopper with me, Little Vox. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Pardon me. It's been a wild ride this weekend. Um, and yeah, finally, um, finally off Lexapro. Um, but I'm having a fucking chemical withdrawals. They hit different. I'm getting head zaps and shit. Sucks. But worth it. Uh... Oh yeah. Just waiting for this shit to load. Alright. Oh, claim. Fortifying Neil. Yum. Amazing. Alright. Let's do the dailies. Or the writs. The writs. There, like, I realized recently that there are too many daily, um, daily quests in this game to, like, do them all. There's just too many of them. It's, it's insane. Whew. Alright. How are we doing for research? What are we researching? 21 hours, that's another day. Cute. 25 dwarven ingots. You the real goat. <laughs> Let's get those materials. Oh shit. Theater. All right. Research. <gasps> Can't research anything. All right. I'm not. I. I don't know if I can trust this uh, research grid anymore, honestly, because some of them tend to be wrong. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yeah, see, see, this one's got five researched. What the fuck? That one's got four. Powered. Alright, well. It's like behind, and that annoys me. Holy moly! Yeah, my head's a mess today. Gonna have to put up with that. Oh. Still working on getting that debate sorted. Um, other than that, uh, I'm just trying to get back into my normal like life habits in order to function correctly and better. But yeah, I never wanted to be on Lexapro forever, so like. It's just bad timing, I guess, as well, for, like, the other shit that's going on in my life, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, like, eh, YOLO. A point of, um, anti-anxiety medication for me was to get onto, back onto my, um, ADHD medication. So. And mission, mission accomplished there, but the problem is, is that chemical withdrawals are a bitch. I hate them so much. I never want to have to go on to um, anti anxieties again. Because it's just. This, yeah. It's just not fun. Alright. <sighs> yeah, see, this one's fucking off. It's off by one. That's so annoying. Harry Potter fangirl. Rude. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm like, fucking awful today. <laughs> Um, I'm having chemical withdrawals from going off my anti-anxiety anti meds, so... Like, head zaps and queasiness and hot flushes, you know, the whole kit and caboodle. Like, chemical chemical uh, withdrawals are just, they just hit different. I've quit smoking, uh, I've quit drugs, I've quit, like, things which are, like, habits. 
And that sucks. And it makes me grumpy as fuck. But at least that has some level of predictability. I've got no idea when I get when I'm gonna get Vertigo next. Mm. But yeah. That's why you shouldn't be on you're trying to be creative? How so? Maybe I can help. But yeah, you shouldn't be on anti-anxiety or um, antidepressants for like long term anyway, so for this reason. You know. And it also affects your libido as well, which if that matters to you, then that's an important thing to remember. <sighs> hey! Okay, this is fucking rude. So fucking rude. How dare how dare they? Internet speed test. My friend just got the just showed me their internet speed test. 453.1 megabits per second. Wait, what's that? What's that? In Ah. <sighs> Fifty six megabytes per second. That's fuck. That's insane. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, okay. No, I I found it funny. Sorry, I, I I'm I'm I I I my 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 all my expression is my face. Apparently, I don't know. No, no, that, that I get the joke. I got the joke. I found the jokes funny. And oh my gosh, I forgot to put the fucking thing in my bag. Ah. <sighs> Uh, I thought we were talking about like uh, making new stuff. So yeah, my friend's got over fifty megabytes per second um, download speeds. I mean, like. When you think about it, if my government had actually done the um, national broadband network properly, then we would be having like gigabyte per second speeds. But of course, you know, the privatized um, monopoly uh, oligopoly that we have uh, on our phone connection systems at the moment um, means that we still have asbestos and copper. So the expense of that, um, and of course, you know, the taxpayers paid for it. So, hype B words and homemade G word. You're going to have to explain that one. I'm so confused. All right, there we go. Logging out, logging back in. Okay. Well, I hope you're doing well in any case. I just can't stand up because I just get dizzy now. Valorant is a game, isn't it? What's Valorant? Alright, let's re finally research that. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, they suck. I'm just like, I'm I'm lucky that uh, my my antidepressant is my cripple, crippling existential dread. I ain't getting over that anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Like the point of them isn't. Be th that they're happy pills. The point is that they allow, give you the emotional. They they numb you out so you can come up with coping mechanisms in the meantime for when you get off them. That's the point. And unfortunately, a lot of the time, at least in my experience, uh, the GPs don't really explain that shit to you. I'm just lucky that I know that shit now, you know. Alright, let's finish these dailies. What's going on? Well, they don't really make me a zombie. Why can't I do shit? Do I have internet? Is the internet working? Has the internet stopped? Oh, fucking hell. I don't know if I'm live anymore. I have to check. Oh no, it's connected. Who knows what that was? Can you still. Li am I still live? It looks like I'm live. Alright, cool. Internet just dropped out. Sadden Stink starting to sing that song. Like, I am... My brain is... Is is just... Melted right now. Oh... Ah. Welcome back to the Shady Harbour. <laughs> no, that was me. Sir Hugh's axe. Alright, we're gonna... Delete a bunch of this sh stuff. And get my blacksmithing turned up. We're gonna get our blacksmithing turned up. Oh yeah. Level 20 blacksmithing, baby! I now have, um... I now have, uh... Something happened. Oh, three... I've got, I've got three level 50s now. Um, and, um... I've got, um... I'm starting to get everyone mastered as well. So I'm starting to get master crafting writs. But, like, I can't use them, it seems, now, right now, because of stupid stuff. And I discovered as well that jewellery crafting has roots as well. That, that, that's a thing. 
I didn't know that that was a thing, so... So now all my characters have got those writs. Oh, fully in. dropped. Very close. Void cloth, craft. It's a good way to like farm money in this game. Oh yeah. So how's everyone else's days? I think that's all of them. Oh yeah. Got it down to an art form now. <sighs> also, um, the I, 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 I finally got a companion in this game, and the companions are actually pretty cool. They make this game more interesting. Which is weird, because oftentimes companions can just, like, be annoying, but um, yeah. My only problem with this particular companion is uh, she's a Khajiit, but she doesn't refer to, her, to herself in the third person, so um, I, I don't really like that. Oh hey, my bot just uh, posted again. Lol. All right. Let's see now. Also, I have a Fennec Fox pet. Alright, got all of that. Let's check my inventory for the things I've just done. I gotta sell some stuff. Azabi. No. Apparently the banker and the merchant are on sale, so I might purchase those. Um. Versus does. The story of Because I Got Hired by Afro Man. Don't know what kind of commentary I can give that. Ah. Oh. I can't do it. I can't watch that. Sorry. Who is this, by the way? Is that, like, Anusion and is Upotnik memeing about this? He better be memeing. That's all I have to say. Better be. This is the best part of any Elder Scrolls game. Inventory management. We love to see it. <sighs> Lol. It's probably, um... Words. I'm good at them. I swear! It's probably uh, uh, copyrighted anyway, isn't it? If it's vice. 
Alright, who cares? Nobody's fucking watching me anyway, so like... Now all I need to do... Oh. Whee! Fenra? Shut the fuck up. <gasps> he did! Fenra didn't say anything this time. Sweet! Um, what do you reckon I play some cyberpunk after I do the dailies? What do you think? I'm gonna see some cy cyberpunk. Cyber, cyber fox? Cyber little fox? Cyber Lucy? She always seems so, she always looks so fucking grumpy. Poor thing. Probably not getting paid enough. To deal with my shit. I know, I know. I was gonna, like, pirate the game. What I was gonna do was purchase the game and then pirate it and play the pirated version. But then I realized shit's changed since I was a kid. And pirating games, uh, I mean, I've never really pirated games anyway. Like, I don't like, I, I, did, I used to, like, watch torrented movies and shit, but, like, games I've never really torrented. Like, because I've always been paranoid about viruses and shit. And I never really got viruses from, like, movies, but that was because I was also highly paranoid about what I downloaded as well and where I downloaded it from and fucking went down rabbit holes of making sure things were safe and all of that sort of stuff. But, like, when it comes to video games, like, how do you even play pirated video games these days? It seems so involved, because these days everything is a live service, so, like, how do you even... How? 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 Ugh! I thought it would be funny to do that with Cyberpunk, but then, now, these days, I'm just like, you know what, I don't have the time. I don't have the time or the money. If I had the money to have the time to spend more time, you know, creating content and stuff. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Hey, Shuma! yee How are you? Yeah, I might play some, uh... You got COVID for Christmas. Yeah, you mentioned. How are you feeling? Are you feeling any better? Oh, Fuck, I hope you don't get long, long COVID, eh? <clears throat> yeah. I'm just like, that. that's just... That, that's just too much effort for me. And go, go and be completely honest. That's way too much effort for my, for, for my liking. I could not be fucked. Even for a joke. Again, if I was able to focus on content creation full time, yes, I would absolutely, like, do funny shit like that. But, like, yeah, nah. Too much effort. Alright. Is this gonna be behind? So, wait. If the dagger's got two. Okay, cool. That's, that's okay. Science and vaccines, vaccines rule? Fuck yeah. Hells yeah. Vaccines are fucking awesome. <clears throat> mm. No, stop with the palp palpitations. Ugh. Don't mind me just going off of Lex Pro. Thank you. 
Oh, fucking hell. If I have a heart attack live, you better make me famous, alright? If I have a heart attack live on stream, you better make this famous, right? Okay, clip it. Clip it and chip it. <clears throat> I need to um, level up this character as well. Fringe income having heart attack live. Hells yeah. Just couldn't take the capitalism anymore. Capitalism was too much. Too much capitalism for my body to handle. But yeah, chemical withdrawals fucking hit different. Alright, how are we doing? Done, 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 done. Woohoo! That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. Pardon me. Don't worry about me. I'm alive. Oh yeah, I was going to check Crown Store for offers. Mm. The Daedric Head of Azura Stonekeeper Arms Pack. Bundle details, what does that look like? I mean, okay, it's just shiny. Ooh, what's this one look like? What's it? Eh, Thieves Oasis. Wavy Triple Braided Updo. I don't think that suits my character. Ooh, Jangle Plume the Banker. Oh, it's 10% off. LOL. Oh my gosh, it's all of them on spa on on sale. Merchant Banker, Merchant Steward, Delegate. Ferez the Merchant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the little little turban. Fucking hell. Oh my gosh. The the Alf the Al Alfie Khajiit are the are the fucking cutest thing. I I love this. Oh, did you all hear about uh, the Callisto Protocol uh, not giving its devs um, proper like credit? Surprise, 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 fucking surprise. Jangle Plume though. The banker. Oh, I've already got Azabi the banker. If I oh the pedal of prizes, <gasps> pedal of prizes, that's pretty sick. Yeah, but that's all of my crowns. Nah, ten percent off isn't enough. And I'm pretty sure once you complete the thieves guild quest line, you can get a um, you can get what like one of those anyway. But yeah, they definitely need to add more, um, more of the Alphique Khajiit, um, in the next Elder Scrolls game, because, like, it is so awesome to have, like, there's a mission in this game I played recently, which, which was just, like, fucking awesome. Like, it, 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 it there was a there, there was a, like a an Alfik which is like the house cat version of the um the little house cat version like you saw the cat with the little turban, um, who was like fucking drunk, smack talking and um was a mage who teleported you to the wrong side of castle. It was it that <laughs> we need more quests like that like just cat mages little tiny cat mages fuck yes. I need this in my life. I need more of this. Yink. No, thief. This
I actually went out on um, New Year's Eve. Or not not so much went out, but I actually did, like, socialized for once. So, you could go me. Do I have enough for uh, the next upgrade? Next bag upgrade? Let me just check. Uh, I'll do the horse first. Or like the mount. And I'll check. Yeah, well, it was actually pretty cool. Um, I was... Uh, I decided to do um, some deliveries. Some, some, some food deliveries. Um, but then it took me to... Basically took me around the corner to my friend's house where I was supposed to be hanging out anyway for New Year's Eve, and I'm just like, well, the universe has demanded that I party. I mean, it was less party, more like socializing. When you get to my age, we tend to just, like, talk about shared trauma, <laughs> rather than, like, party party. Although we did, like, yell at people to jump in the pool. Yeah, your New Year's Eve for us is, like, hot, so... <coughs> mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that it's working out. Um, the, the last weekend was just really bad. Really fucking bad. I'm, like, behind in bills again, so freaking out over that. Yay! Like and subscribe. See how quirky and relatable I am? I suffer from capitalism too. You call that okay, I need 64,000. Which isn't too hard to get in this game. <clears throat> You've been having good luck? Well, fuck yes. Hey, I have no shade against people having good luck. Fuck yes. Wait, you said you had good luck, but you just, like, told me that you had, like, COVID. Is that good luck? Weird flex. Shush! I want to be able to rename my familiar, honestly. Both are possible. True. True! But yeah, we're still working on that debate to happen. I was thinking the other day as well, I kind of want to um, talk about land back again with... Um, I remember uh, Casey IRL that uh, I, did, I debated over um, Israel with. Like, a lot of the things I talked about, um, I didn't really do land back justice at the time. Like frustrated some really cool people um over you know the representation of that so i kind of want to go back and not have a debate but like talk about land back and what that actually means rather than conflating it with a occupy uh, an occupying force basically and you know fighting back against that occupying force different situation basically and just like most people who land back itself is just not about violence so which white people don't really understand too well because white people are just scared of being um like white people are scared of the same thing happening to them that they did to everyone else Well, yeah, yeah. But, like, Israel is beside the point. I want to talk about land back. You were flirting with some women on Reddit? How do you flirt with people on Reddit? 
I thought that people were too sarcastic for that. That's awesome. Usually I just get tell told to 42% myself. Come on! I want to get through this so I can do other contact. Also, um... Eh. Let me put this on for y'all. I want to rewatch this for a sec, just for my own thing. Mm -hmm. Also, like, this is probably the best um, response to the whole, like, is the left failing men argument. Like, Bad Empanada has the best take on that. This is ba it's basically just, like, cishet white... Well, I mean, this is me extrapolating my thing. So, for me, it's just cishet white men arguing that they're not the center of the tension. That's it. You're r slash demisexual for the win. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, cultural hegemony informs what say. Wait, wait, what does sapio mean again? Sapio, wait, sapiosexual is a thing. I think I've heard. Wait, where is? Where is it? Huh? Did it get taken down? Or was this an old video? Fucking hell! If this is, was an old video. What the fuck? I swear I- I swear I watched this. What the fuck? I'm so confused. I'm just gonna go through my history. What? I, I'm, I'm, I'm... What the fuck? Did the video get taken down? Wait, was this it? That's so fucking weird. I think this is it. Oh, yeah, 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 this one. All right. If some cop showed up at your door and asked you to... So, like, speaking of genocide... <laughs> speaking of genocide, like, um, we've spoken... Like, I've talked a bit about how close, um, um, you know... How how there's currently an on, on an ongoing genocide um, towards uh, transgender people uh, over the globe, um, but um, it's important also to talk about more pronounced and like more like more progressed genocide as well. Um, I wasn't aware of a lot of this stuff, and I feel dumb for not being more aware, because I was talking to my friends last night, and they're like, yeah, that's been going on for ages, I'm just like, why, why, why are we, why are we no talk, why are we not talk Prove about that this? you were a citizen of your country, would you be able to? A lot of us would be able to, we'd probably have a passport or a birth certificate or something like that laying around, which would make it pretty simple. But some others wouldn't. In fact, globally speaking, most people probably can't. In many countries, for example, just a birth certificate isn't enough to prove your citizenship. And most people don't have passports. So if you're from a country that doesn't give birthright citizenship just based on being born in the country, you'll also need documents that prove your parents' citizenship, such as their birth certificates, their marriage... Yeah, like, um, something happened in the... Like, there was a January 6th in the Brazilian parliament, but like... Yeah, I don't know much about that. I, I, I like, again, like, Bad Empanada mentioned it, um, as an interesting thing. But, like, 
as basically a, a like the same level of uh, stupid that January 6 was. So like not an actual military coup, just like a bunch of dumbass people doing dumbass shit. But yeah, definitely got to look into that a little bit more. Certificates, their passports, their citizenship certificates, whatever. And if you can't manage to get direct proof of your parents' citizenship for whatever reason, like maybe you don't talk to them, you don't know where they are, they're dead, they just don't want to help you, they don't have the documents, whatever, it kind of puts you in a pickle, doesn't it? And if your parents, like you, don't have direct proof of their own citizenship, you'll also need to go back in the lineage and try to prove that your grandparents or your great-grandparents or whatever were citizens and that this citizenship was then passed on to their descendants. Confusing as hell, right? Most people living in the world today simply don't have such documents. Most people live in the same place for pretty much their entire life, which is just wherever they happen to be born. Unless they want to travel internationally and get a passport, there's rarely a need for them to get these sorts of documents. And depending on the nation that they live in, and especially those that don't have very organized bureaucracies, obtaining such documents might be prohibitively difficult or expensive. It can take years to apply for and receive every little thing that you require. And some people may even live their entire lives without knowing that they're technically not citizens. Because someone, perhaps two, three, or four generations ago, migrated illegally and let this is like, so so much of this is just like, why do we have stupid citizenship bullshit like this? This is not, like, nationalism sucks. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Nationalism, there's no fucking usefulness for it. Like, other than to say where you're currently living, where you're from, maybe where you're born, uh, and where you're going. But, like, aside from those things, which are important things for tracking some, like, tracking some, um, uh, like, important information, you know, like, pandemic protection, that sort of stuff. Like, the whole get out, fuck off, we're full mentality that uh, I see so much in here in Australia is just fucking bullshit. It's just like, f you fuck off. Am I being an idealist again? I no, like I, I'm saying that nationalism, by its very nature, is built on the exclusion of the out group from the in group. Like, tell me what that is. What does that create? Inevitably, inevitably, that's fucking fascism. That's just the basic. Basics of fascism. Basic, uh, ba that is a basic, unjustified hierarchy there. Like, of course, I'm going to have huge problems with that as a anarchist. An, 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 an anarchist. Like, I have a big problem with that being the way that we run systems. I don't see any value for it. Um, I'd, I'd, yeah. There's to to exclude undesirables rather than like treat things from a materialistic uh, perspective. No, like you need to ju you need you need to justify that to me first. Like it's not a matter of that being like the right way and it needs to be disproved. No, fuck, fuck off. You need to like you need to be able to like justify that hierarchy to me, and there is no justification for that hierarchy other than to exclude people from your um, power structures. And there's no good reason to do that. So yeah, like, this citizenship bullshit, it, like, it is so complicated, it's so hard, and it's just, no. Uh, justify that nations exist, because Marxists have a definition for one, don't they? Depends on what we're talking, how, what we're talking about, like, you know, are we talking, like, old school, uh, old school Marxists who believed in utopianism? Or are we talking about, like, you know, contemporary Marxist theory, where you justify things through the scientific method like nations exist yes i'm not saying that like that that's like kind of the similar argument to saying that um that against gender abolitionists gender abolitionists don't want to like remove words from the light from like language like uh marxist anti-utopian 
So Angles was very much of Angle, Angles and to, some, to a certain extent Marx. Um, uh, like Marx's later works sort of like backtracked on this, but a lot of Marxists at, at that particular time um, believed that communism would progress naturally through industrialization, which, you know, we're a century ahead now. Communism hasn't just happened. Like, there was a lot of this idea that things that, it, 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 you know, you know, skill tree lines, like, they didn't have video games back then, but like, you know, like dumbasses who think that, um, that cultures, uh, progress through like a, a skill tree line, like you go from the wheel, you go to the, the halberd, you create this is like, you know, civilization five bullshit. There was a lot of that back then. They thought that capital, the ca capitalism would naturally collapse, uh, due to industrialization and the, um, and the, the, the working class would rise up like as a natural result of uh, industrialization and that was the utopianist ideal yeah accelerationism um which obviously is is the dumbest fucking thing you can think of now because we in with hindsight we know that that's just not the case you can see the reality of yeah, I know, but like, okay, so there's a difference between having. Let, let me let me bring this down to like a really easy thing to understand. There, like, there's there's we men, women, and other, right? So from there, if we're talking about the abolition of gender, we're not removing the words man and woman and 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 non-binary gender from existence. We are removing unjustified expectations of these gender roles. We are abolishing the negative aspects to these terms. Obviously, like calling something America, calling something the USA, calling the, these these groups of people that work together to create government, that's a very useful thing. What I'm talking about is nationalism. The idea that to have a nation it requires the exclusion of an outgroup to have that. I don't believe that, because you can still call Australia Australia, and people who live in Australia Australians, without excluding people from the in-group. You can still have that. Like, it doesn't change the way things are labelled and the way we talk about these things, right? It just is the abolition of the unjustified hierarchies within these systems. <laughs> I accelerate the amount of work I take. But yeah, you can see the differences in the culture, institutions, ways of life, and I can see those things too. Like, it's not like removing culture. Culture changes over time as well. And it should be allowed to be to change over time, and obviously, like, things should be recorded for historical uh, sense. What makes someone Australian, for me, self-identification. It's the same as gender for me. If you say you're Australian, you're Australian to me. Yeah, that's it. You gotta go to prison to be Australian. Apparently. Eat down their roots in this new country without ever formalizing their status. Anyway, something that was, that was the very, point. very, very common up until mere decades ago, by the way. So they had no citizenship to pass down. So their descent. But like this idea of like citizenship being ba based on birthrights is what leads to these fucking problems. This is what I. This is my point. Like the idea of having to prove your birthright through through these processes is just. Fucking ridiculous. Hey, I, I've lived here for 33 years of my life. I think that shows that I am a citizen rather than, you know, my parents got Australian citizenship and I was born here. Creation of a single French nation required the homogenization of various cultures in the country. Yeah, I mean, like, that stuff should be um, allowed to progress naturally rather than, you know, doing. Independence, despite video. having lived in the same country, probably in the same location, for their entire lives, are technically- Pierre, what did you get- why did you tell the monarchy to get fucked? 
Tell me again about what state rights mean. Not citizens of that country. So imagine again those yes. cops at your door. You've lived here your entire life, you speak the language, you have the same culture as the cops and as your neighbours. This country is your home and you are of this nationality. <sighs> Why do, why do you think that we um, we kick um, uh, asylum seekers off our uh, off uh, out we, we we put them in uh, concentration camps in countries that we um, are currently exploiting um, in you know like yeah in concentration camps instead of having them within our borders like that's one of the reasons. The idea is, like, we our immigration system here in Australia for asylum seekers is treat them like shit until they either kill themselves or stop coming. That is our um, asylum seeker system. That's how it works. Um, and that's nationalism for you, the exclusion of people. And it's also what is being... Um, done to trans people in America right now. The Civil War was over slavery, not states' rights. Yeah, I was making a joke because the Civil War, like, like they, Civil War people say, oh, it, it's for states' rights! It's for states' rights, brother! And I'm just like, yeah, rights to do what? And you can say the same thing about uh, the, the American Revolution. A revolution to do what? Because you, you weren't allowed to do as much genocide as you wanted to. <laughs> but they don't care about that. All they care about is the proof that you are a legal citizen. That you fit into this specifically legal category. So let's say yeah. that you live in a relatively poor area and you don't really have <clears throat> much documentation regarding your identity in the first place, let alone the means to prove your citizenship. How I was born in a first world country and I had no proof of this sort of thing until I was like 25 years old and it took me like a whole year to get it. Imagine how much more difficult or expensive it would be without the resources that I had or the more refined bureaucracy. So you have no way to abide by the demands of the cops and let's say that you also have a neighbour who doesn't either. They take both of you away. The cops hand you over to immigration officials who then try to verify whether you're a citizen or not but it turns out that according to them both you and your neighbour are not citizens. Who knows, maybe it's because there's just no records of your ancestors in official databases, which... In the American Revolution, there's the interest of American settlers in the failed Southern War of Independence the Southern Alliance. Yeah. 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 He just wanted to, like, slave people... En enslave people worse than uh, you're allowed to, and also uh, kill, pe kill the um, First Nation peoples um, faster and... Uh, worse than you already were but that that, that yeah but sure thing be, be proud of your american revolution <laughs> it could simply be explained be proud by of that if that you want worldwide a lot of people just kind of live informally or maybe at some this is this the, 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 it's stuff like this which is why the rest of the world is laughing laughs at fucking the u.s I mean, like, there, there was both of those things, like, yes, it was more about, well, I'm not going to call it settling, I'm going to call it genociding West, because that's what it was. You should call it what it fucking is. Point in the last 60 or 70 years or whatever, your great-grandpa just walked over a border, and so your family oh, ended up Oh, 100%. Story matters much more than the truth. Which is why, which is, which is like, why it pisses me off that people like spend way too much time trying to get down to the truth when it comes to the beginning. When it's just like, no, you need to fucking, you need to curve that narrative first, y'all. Hey, provisioning writ, nice. It's like arguing what kind of racism is worse. Still a lot of shit that enables racism, and one of the things which um, enables racism is nationalism. Today. Both of those are things that you cannot control. Like, nevertheless, nationalism is one of the roots of. of Italy was not like. I'm, no, I think it was. Think that think all of these things were bloody and awful and cruel, but uh, America has, the the USA has done all of these things, worse than any other country in history, like the America was the model for the Nazis. That's how bad things were. That's how bad America treated and genocided its, like, native population. Like, 
that and and nationalism serves only to progress and aid that there are no benefits to nationalism it's always about how you treat the outsiders not about what you do with people on the inside because it doesn't matter they're already on the inside can't do anything about them you just got to make them happy enough so that they don't revolt nationalism binds the state together how i well i mean like if if you require nationalism to have a state then like your state should probably fucking collapse yo Fuck your state. Yes, you're gonna get punished for the original sin of the guy you've never met who probably died before you were born. You're gonna be thrown into a so-called detention. Yeah, but if your identity is based on the exclusion of other people's identities, then get fucked. <laughs> there are better ways of creating an identity. Like, self-identification, for one. Look at the way that gender works. We can understand these roles, we can identify these roles, but we don't have to exclude people from those roles, from those things to exist. Uh, Rwanda and then Hutu Tutsi sectarianism. I, uh, yeah, I, I am, I'm aware that that was a thing, but I have no idea what that was. But, uh, yeah. You don't need nationalism like if you're going to build your identity on the exclusion of other people eventually that's going to come round to bite the other people on the ass and yourself in the end attention center probably indefinitely also, welcome back, uh, because uh, now you're uh, also stateless uh, meaning that you have no citizenship in any country since it's going to be even more impossible to prove that you are a citizen elsewhere so there's also no way to deport you to your neighbor has the exact same problem as yeah. you um, the, the, I'm sorry, Happy Puritan, like, that's the same argument you could use for, uh, Israel. And... A defensive genocide is still a genocide. You, but he's not going to be thrown into immigration detention or deported or anything. Because he's Hindu, or Buddhist, or Jain, or Sikh, or Christian. So he gets handed citizenship. You're a Muslim, though. And Muslims are excluded from the pathway to citizenship that is available to your neighbor. So what? practically everyone who isn't a Muslim who cannot prove their citizenship is going to end up being handed it. All it Which, um, uh, Geneva Convention? I feel like, I feel like denying people who were born in York Borders uh, citizenship or revoking citizenship from, and making people stateless is a human rights violation, but... Um... They have to do is claim that they, or some ancestor in their past, had been persecuted for their religion in a neighbouring country. So these immigration detention centres are going to be full of nothing but Muslims. This is what's happening in India right now. This is why there's protests all over the country, and this is why the government is massacring people. The Hindu supremacist BJP party, led by President Modi, is using the cover of citizenship to purge the country of as many Muslims as possible. This would be bad enough already if they were just doing it to all people who couldn't prove their citizenship, but the fact that they're specific- Um, like, yeah, like, they're throwing people in camps. This is, like, literal Nazi shit. Like, they're doing the same thing to Muslims that we are doing to asylum seekers here in Australia. We're all fucking doing this shit. We never stopped. We're all doing Nazi shit. And it's all based on this like, this fucked up version of nationalism. This is what nationalism causes. Like, there is no justification for this. For, for this. Like, if this is what nationalism causes, which it does, by the exclusion of the outgroup, um, in order to, you know, make them stateless or refuse entry based on shit like religion, um... Yeah, that's just not justifiable. Israel isn't doing what Rwanda did. Again, I don't know what uh, Rwanda is. I bring up Israel because I I have a much better understanding of that situation than what happened to Tutsi people. All I know about Tutsi, the Tutsi Rwandan stuff is that it's used by right wingers a lot to justify uh, nationalism. So I don't really want to go down that rabbit hole when we're talking about India. Basically, excluding Muslims and offering. Uh, the refugees, um, uh, from all over, 
Um, but we get um, a lot of uh, people from Afghanistan, from the Middle East. Um, what is it called? Rohing Rohingya, uh, Rohingyan refugees, um, and basically anyone who looks different, sounds different, has a different religion, gets stuck in a um, concentration camp in um, one of the Indonesian countries that we uh, that are basically vassal states. Bring amnesties for pretty much everyone else in the same situation just takes it to another level. Let's look at the legislation. The Citizenship Amendment Act of 2019 passed in December. Yeah. It amended the Citizenship Act of 1955 by providing a path to Indian citizenship for illegal immigrants of Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Parsi and Christian religious minorities who had fled persecution from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan before December 2014. Muslims from those countries were not given such eligibility. So vague terms in order to receive citizenship that are explicitly based on religion. This is combined with the National Register of Citizens, an old measure from 2003 which has been brought back into prominence by the Modi government. It aims to create a National Registry of Citizens so that anyone who cannot prove their citizenship can be easily deported. That's already bad enough. But the fact that it's going to be specifically targeted at Muslims is obviously quite a bit worse. And currently they're building masses of so-called immigration detention centers around the country for this very purpose. Despite the terminology used there, in reality these are specifically concentration camps for Muslims. So India has an actual fascist yeah. government. So like, a better way to, dis a better way to uh, frame that, um, what he just said there, a better way to explain that would be to say that they are not officially Muslim detention centers, but the end result of these um, camps, these concentration camps, are that Muslims get put into them and put on a registry. Um, it, yeah. That's already rounding up its designated other. And you know what? They're already further along with this than the Nazis were in the 1930s. The Nazis first deprived people of citizenship and then the camps came later. But the Hindu fascists are doing it all at once. The genocide, whether it's through ethnic cleansing, cultural erasure or actual mass murder, they're all genocides, is coming faster than you'd expect. Many people are going to say, ah, you're so crazy, it's not that bad yet. Why don't you wait until it's actually that bad before you start complaining about it? Mate, wait, mate, mate, like, when you put, when you start putting people in camps in order to make their lives so horrible that they either kill themselves or leave, or get deported, that is genocide. Like, we're not talking about a genocide that is coming. Currently, there is genocide being enacted against Indian Muslims. It is a current thing. And, like, it is further along on the genocide journey than the than trans people in America. It's further along than even the Australian treatment um, in Australia, our treatment of refugees, putting in putting refugees into concentration camps. The aim of these concentration camps is not to um, figure out their citizenship. I'm, I'm sorry, but like spending leaving a um, a four year old in a concentration camp for 10 years is not trying to figure out whether they have citizenship somewhere. Like, that is trying to remove people from our borders. That is genocide. And not to mention that I'd be very, very uh, surprised if similar things weren't happening within these uh, concentration camps as they do in the American concentration camps uh, with regards to the um, uh, medical experimentation and um, what are we looking at here? I, mind blank. I'm sorry. I get again. I'm going. Go, I went off um, anti anxiety anti-anxiety medication on Friday, so I'm getting, like, chemical withdrawals. It's making me even worse than usual. Um, sterilization. Forced sterilization of, um, of, uh, Latin American women in the, on, on your, uh, USA borders. Like, that's, that, 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 that's happening. So it would be very surprising for me if these things weren't happening as well. 
because that's pretty much part and parcel for most concentration camps. They did it in Nazi Germany, they did it in the USA camps. I'm pretty sure that they do it in uh, the Australian camps as well. Um, it's very easy to do this to people who uh, even speak a different language uh, than the native language as well. Yeah. Now, hopefully they do that before that they uh, force sterilize them. Which, forced sterilization is a form of genocide. Gotta really nail that down here. So... This isn't an attempt. I I need I need dumbass leftist content creators, right, to start understanding that using the term attempted genocide is exactly the same as saying the phrase ATM machine. ATM is automatic teller machine. So you're saying automatic teller machine machine in that sentence. If you say attempted genocide, genocide is the attempted removal or uh, wiping, basically wiping out of a group of people. It is the attempted. It, it, it's, it's redundant. If there is an attempt, then it is a genocide. Yeah. Tautology, is it? Oh, okay. I thought it was um, called uh, a redundancy, but um, tautology sounds better. Words, I'm good at them. But yeah, like, we need to understand, like, this is this is an ongoing one. Oh, thanks for the follow, President Bolsonaro. <laughs> Please no January 6th. <laughs> Those people are incredibly dumb, learn nothing about history, and need to be ignored. The best time to see the warning sites for this and take action was years ago. But the second best time is right now, before it can be allowed to get any worse. International President. pressure that backs the ongoing multi-ethnic, <laughs> multi-religious protests happening across India right now is the only way that this can be stopped. If we in other countries don't react in the strongest possible way to the yeah. sacrifices that these protesters are making, the government will simply be allowed to do whatever they want. They're testing what they can get away with. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, what what are, what are we what are we what are we looking at here? Um, th this is this is um, this is what our this is what um, the ABC Australian Broadcasting Company com uh, company that's the um, uh, taxpayer-funded um, broadcasting outlet. It generally has a slant towards whatever government is in power at the time, because obviously they depend on funding from that government. So take it with a grain of salt. But let's have a look and see uh, what they're saying about what my country is reporting about India right now. So actually, India... Seems... Give me a second. Um, I'm gonna fucking sort of <laughs> what's Bolivia, Bolivar? What's the sort of Bolivar? India parades a ballistic missile dubbed the China Killer. Truck carrying Indian soldiers falls into gorge. Um, Sydney test, untouchable woman, even in sort of a bar, food program. Like, this is, this, these are the things that we report on in Australia. Sports. Yeah, crim into mysterious Russian oligarch. Like, we don't talk about this at all. We're not talking about this shit at all. If, like, if we were, then ABC would be reporting on it. And I'm not going to bother looking at any of the other Australian um, news outlets because they're either owned by mining corporations 
um, or owned by Murdoch. But yeah, like, I think the only thing that I saw, like, the only thing that came up when, um, um, when I, when I typed in, um, Kashmir village attack, hundreds arrested, Imran Khan was rule of law and Islamic welfare state, like, the, the things that we're reporting on, like, look at this, look at this, we're all, the, we are doing the, we are, um, portraying Muslim people within India the same way as, um, like CNN and, uh, center, the center right, um, outlets in America were portraying, like, Trump supporters, like. Oh, and, and they're still bitching about Sal Sal Salman Rushdie. Like, come on. Seriously. Two kids among six people die in Kashmir. Like, Indian controlled Kashmir. I, I need to look into the Kashmir situation as well, but like, police blamed militants fighting against Indian rule for carrying out the two attacks at uh, Dangri. Yeah, I want to learn more about that. Aussie News, Erner. Sorry, I'm, I'm multitasking right now. But yeah, oh yeah, and, and, and this stuff here. Hundreds of arrested in India amid continuing tensions over Prophet Muhammad insults. So, like, we are... Let, let's, let's understand here. Here in Australia, we tend to only report on... What, what, let me, let me, let me just read this. A youth in India's Kashmir has been arrested for posting a video threatening to behead a former spokesperson of India's ruling party who had made derogatory remarks about the Prophet Muhammad, according to officials. Let me just f find that video. Like, um, it, it's, it's really crazy. Um... Ah, oh, where are we going? This is really hard to find. I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. Yeah. 
have some breaking news. We now have a dangerous threats in my workplace. That's they hate our Second Amendment because ultimately the truth is it's our Second Amendment rights, our right to bear arms that protects oh, Americans. Oh, shit. Sorry. No, sorry. This is in America. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Like, you know, this is a kid that posted a video online. This is just a fucking kid that posted a fucking uh, dumbass social media post, right? You've 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 you you've got a senator in your country right now, America, who believes in Jewish space lasers. Miss me with this bullshit. This is how we report on things. But yeah, this is how we think. This is this is how we report on these things. We, like the the uh, the way we frame these sort of things. Uh, Andrew Callahan's SADV allegations may be afoot. What does that mean? What, what's SADV? Sad allegations. S A D V. What is? What, what's that mean? Sorry. But yeah, we we. Against Andrew Callahan? Fucking hell. Ugh. Geopolitically right now, and they're getting bolder and bolder in their repression as they see no consequences for it. Please say something. Tell your friends about this. Post about it anything. The more that we talk about this, the more likely it is that our own governments will be forced to take action. The BJP is in the process of genociding Muslims in India. That is a fact. Do something about it. Like, that's, that's how, that's how shit is right now. That, that, that's the situation, basically. You don't need to know everything about it, you just need to understand that, like, yeah, this shit is going on. But uh, honestly, I have absolutely zero faith in Australia doing, like, saying anything about it. I have z absolutely zero faith because, uh, he, he, wait, Empanat, bad Empanada? He's from, um, he, he's, he's like, fr he's Australian, but like, uh, I thought he was Italian. I tend to believe anyone who speaks Spanish is Latin, Latin American. I, I I I can't remember. I can't remember what like his his family history is, what is, but I'm pretty sure he was born in Australia. From what I can gather, ah, he has a he has a great love for Latin America though. Like, and honestly, like the way I see it, like if it's self-identified, like I got no issue with that. If he calls himself Latin Latin um Latin American, um. Then, if he calls himself Latinx or Latino or whatever, then, like, whatever. Oh, yeah. Now, let me finish this stuff up. And then we'll take a quick break and we'll figure out where we're going. Um, is there anything I need to withdraw? What is this? Banana millet muffin? No. Alchemy written, provisioning writ. A Velothy View Vintage Malbec. Victuals of rare quality. 
Interesting. Alright, um, did I deposit my gold? I did not. Nope, that's uh, withdrawing. But yeah, genocide in uh, India right now. I, I yeah, I don't know. It's not as if like leftist content creators are gonna do fuck all. It's like thinking of those things about things in those terms is uh, utterly, completely po pointless. It's not as if um, yeah. I have no idea, like... We have a history of just turning a blind eye to um, people doing the same kinds of genocide as us, so I don't really have much faith in Australia, my government at least, uh, saying anything about uh, the shit that's going on there. People don't... People, most people in Australia don't really realise, I think, what, like, what genocide looks like, um, and don't even care once it happens. And most people don't even know what uh, happened um, in uh, Xinjiang at, at all. Like, I've just got one more guy to do, and it's, um, yeah. Well, genocide. <laughs> a, a, a cultural genocide happened in Jingyang. Ben Pernod was originally from Australia. He's a Greek, uh, as fuck name. Yeah, sorry, yeah, not Italian, Greek. I remember. Yeah. I mean, he's a capitalist, really, as well. Yeah, same. Ah. Oh. Despite the leftism. Heh. Leftism is the best! Alright. I've got no more skill points. No! I'm just gonna do it. Just gonna do what I can. Um, where is Azabi? Azabi, hey, what's up? Give me those things that I need to do, like that one. And damn, I've got th I've got so many doubles of the Sigic uh, Ambrosia. Yeah, the Uga, a Uyghur, a Uyghur genocide. Creationism. Ugh, don't inflict that. Don't, don't, don't put that evil on me. That sweet background music makes you want to come back. It is a good game. Like, I, I, I like the game. It is a good game to me. It has its flaws. It does have its flaws. But I am enjoying the grind, getting up to, um, I've finally got, um, some master crafters now, so, and I learned that you can do jewelry, jewelry crafts. Uh, Happy Puritan, hot take, genocide is bag. Bad, bag? Bad. That is pretty, a pretty hot take. Adrian Zen's a liar and no one has died. Who? And what? You learned that Adrian Zen's is a liar and no one has died. Um... Do you know what a cultural genocide is? <sighs> mm. 
you, you know what? If you want to have a look at some um, some creationism stuff, you should just watch um, uh, the was it the Re renegade uh, scientist or whatever he's called. Ah, oh, pardon me. Oh, I did. Clear selections. All right, hold on. I just need to craft this. Happy Puritan. What is that? Why Leviathan is not a dinosaur. Oh, my gosh. Please, please stop. Stop taking. Stop taking the biblical equivalent of Aesop's fables as literal Christians. Please. Look at the world God created for you, and like build your build your beliefs around like reality. Damn. You like Ben S. Ark Encounter. Oh yeah, Ark Encounter. Now I remember what that is. Yeah. Fucking hell, all those people just rotting the minds of children. So. Mm -hmm. And wine cap? I think this is it. Let's see if that works. Yay! Oh wow, did that just create all of it? Nice. Ah, oh, it's masterful con uh, concoction. Complete. Shibibu has videos on them. You wait, you like, you like, um, you, you like wet ass piwar? There's some there's some horrors in this house. There's some horrors in this house. I mean, I guess I'm an ex whore. Ben Sharpie Pen, Sharpie Ben. Hold on. So reply to this. Anchor is up. You mean down. Certified free, seven days a week. Where else P word? Make that pull out game weak. Ben Stanhope does uh, videos against tech creationism. <laughs> Stop. Oh yes, baby. These women need to go to a doctor. Figure out what's wrong with their uh, private parts. It was raised one. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I realize as well why I get so confused about the idea of being born Catholic or born Jewish and all those sort of things. Like, because I was brought up as a in in like a born again Christian family, so like, we weren't. Christian from the get-go. We went to church, like, later in life, so, like, we did the things afterwards. And so, it just, it just still weirds me out, I guess, when people talk about some of this, like, like, <clears throat> talk about being Christian, but, like, not a practicing one. I understand, um, um, Jewish people a lot more because that is an actual ethnicity on top of, um, on top of like the the a re the religious aspect, but like Catholic Catholicism, like just seems it seems weird to me to hear people talking about it in that way. I guess just just in that way, like maybe it's just me, maybe it's Maybelline. Who knows? You're worth it too. Yeah, there's a, it's a very evangelical because that's the that's pers the perspective I grew up with. So it's just. How things, it, how I came to understand how Christianity worked, I guess. But it's just weird. It's weird, though, right? Like, I've, 
cracks jokes around people who are non-practicing Catholics, which, again, blows my mind that this is a thing. Um, I make cracks about the Catholic Church being a cult, and it just offends them, like, as if I've just, like, insulted their, like, parents. And I, the, that reaction is weird to me. It's like, well, rather than get offended, like, can you, like, can, can, can you, uh, like, add some context for me to understand why you're so fucking pissed off? Neo-reactionary Christians. I don't know if it's neo-reactionary, I just think it's something I don't understand. Which doesn't make it wrong, it just... Just makes it something I don't understand. I guess, um, uh, Muslims as well, there's an ethnic... There's probably an ethnic, um... Uh... An ethnic source. Like, and, and I guess... Do you know what I reckon it is? I reckon that the further along... Um, a, a religion is into being tainted by capitalism, the m less people, like, the more evangelical it becomes and the less, you know, like, it being passed down from parent to, to child, uh, it, it sort of, like, seems. I think that's, I think that's what it is. Perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. A lot of whites don't get this, but for example, Latino, Latinx uh, in America are very close to their Catholic religion. Well, I mean, my ex was from Chile, and she was the one that got pissed off at me for it. I'm just like, my gosh, you're like the least Christian person I know. Why are you so fucking offended? Yeah, I know, but like, if you don't even uphold the cultural values, uh, like, connected to the religion that you're offended about, right? Then... What's this? Oh, I can't make that yet. All right, let's provision a writ this ship. It's yeah, I guess it's it. And like, I'm, I'm not saying it's wrong to get offended about these things, at all. Like, you feel what you feel is legit, and like, I don't say things in order to um, like piss people off, but like, it just seems weird to me. It just does. Yay, alright, so wait, Velothi View Vintage Malbec, where the fuck do I get that? Velothi View, Velothi View Vintage, Velothi View Vintage Bullshit. Oh. Oh. But where do I get it from? Where do I get this recipe from? Game? Game. Game. The Lofty View. Yeah, so, and I can't remember what the rest of it is. Recipes have to be found in the world. But where does it drop? You order those atheist call on shows and the white host couldn't comprehend a desire of a non-white uh, to hold on to their own cultural traditions, form Catholic and just simulate into white American culture already. Well, I mean, the, the thing is, like, Catholicism has been that institutionalized and, um, like, tainted by capitalism. It's not even a fucking recipe, like, religion anymore. Where do I get this from? The fuck do I get it from? Hold on a second. Um Tamriel Trade Center Velothi 
view recipe search and then reload because for some reason something always goes wrong these were white american anglers who are insisting that it becomes the white angler like them but i thought that um that assimilating to a national identity is a good thing I guess it was a good thing you said it would be useful for the state. Yeah. True. Twisty. The dread lady described you well. Come and see. Alright, let's see no identity isn't causing any problems. Yeah, I don't know. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. Do, 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 do. I just wish that, um, like, I knew at least, like, where these recipes dropped from. <laughs> so that I could make them. Also, it's criminal how many, how much heartwood you need to like complete a lot of the imperial writs. Stupid charity writs. Don't even get any money from it. No money, only experience. No, I want to open the crate, not talk to you. Oh, I also need to talk to you about None of us that. Is getting any younger, you know. I gained a champion point. I okay. wonder if this guy's got it. No, don't have it. Rude. Alright. Grand repair kit. Just put away all of the stuff that I don't need and can just. Well, that's a, that's a treasure that I don't need. Do 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 do. Banana. Right, I can tell me go back home, but to be honest, my people are here first. Oh, uh, don't go home argument. It's just like what I live around the corner, bitch. Alright, where's the zombie? The zombie, come here. What can I withdraw? Ha! Sold him. Damn, I need to go through those um, treasure maps. Got so many of them now. Inven inventory management, yay. Um, 
horse and then quick break. Look at my griffin! Griffin's amazing! Spanish itself was imposed on some Latinos that are actually indigenous, not descendants of settlers. You mean colonizers? Just uh, the idea of settling. Would you call, like, genociding the original inhabitants in order to, like, take their land? Just settling for the land? So it seems like a... Like a... Like, like he didn't really care about it in the first place. It seems like he cared more about it than it just being something that you settled for. That's all of them for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick break and then figure out what we're going to do next. And yeah. So, don't go anywhere, or do. I'll be right back after these short announcements. Hey! Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Um, I'm gonna need to cut uh, the stream short today. Um, got some things to deal with. Um, but yeah. Should be back tomorrow, hopefully. Um, yeah. So until then, take care of yourself, take care of yourself, and take care of someone else. And uh, yeah. Peace out.